Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. Today we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic, blockchain with data engineering. So blockchain is a very vast area and the market is really good. So under blockchain, we do have this cryptocurrency, NFTs, metaverse, virtual lands, and so many stuff is getting created under this. And people, not only cryptocurrency, under based on the blockchain, people started creating decentralized application. And for these decentralized application, we need some tech stack from the data perspective, right? And data engineering has started giving the contribution towards that area. And today I'm going to show you some top seven databases, blockchain based databases, which a data engineer should know. And this is something like it is kind of related to data engineering because we, when it comes to databases, like we do have NoSQLs and RDBMS, which is coming under the data engineering space. And we are going to discuss about that. And I'm going to show you the top seven blockchain based databases, which a data engineer should know. Come, let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into the top seven uh, databases, blockchain based databases. The very first DB which I'm going to introduce is BigChain database. So uh, BigChain DB is a blockchain based database powered by MongoDB. That's a point to note for data engineers because we are familiar with MongoDB, which is a NoSQL databases, right? So uh, this uh, MongoDB that enables you to add decentralized and blockchain technology to your application. So that is why like BigChain DB has been powered by MongoDB. So the main aim of block chain based databases is to create a decentralized because people are building decentralized apps and short form we used to call it as a d apps so for building this d apps so we need some databases which should be a decentralized one which should not be a centralized one like if you take a uh, peer-to-peer -peer network that means like we should not have any master-slave architecture whereas if you see Hadoop or Spark it's like master-slave like there we in which we have the centralized person or a machine which takes care of all the request and response read right but here we need it as a peer-to-peer -peer. like each and every node in the cluster should take part of validating the read write request or validating the transaction should every node should have the should share the heartbeats and they should have the copy of the data that means the transaction or what whatever the data is all about. So it's all about the, the seven DBs. What I'm going to explain is like it has to be and it is suitable for the decentralization and none of the none of these databases are like centralized. They are all are decentralized one. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get back into this big chain DB. So uh, the records stored in big chain DB are tamper proof and uh, the records are immutable, meaning that once a record is verified and stored in the database, it can never be altered or changed. That's that's a main uh, aim and idea of blockchain for all the transactions that we do, right? So uh, the next point, the databases is decentralized in a peer-to-peer -peer network. There is no single point of command. So which means like there is no single point of communication and there is no single point of failure. When there is no single point of communication, there is no single point of failure. Like if you take Hadoop, like if, uh, if the name node goes down, then we have to go for uh, the passive name node, right? And even in the Spark, when the actual master goes down, we have to go for the passive master. So somehow there is a single point of failure. And uh, here, if you take uh, this big chain DB or the decentralized technology uh, databases, right? It is like they, there is no master slave architecture. They are completely a peer to peer. Each and every node uh, in, the, in the cluster has the responsibility of uh, reading the data Data, writing the data, validating the data. Okay, so the database is decentralized in peer-to-peer -peer network, and as I told you, there is no point of single point of command. Each node in the big chain network has a local copy of the MongoDB database. So this is all about this uh, big chain DB. And we are moving to Cassandra. So Cassandra is quite familiar, right? So we people are uh, uh, very much aware of what is Cassandra, the NoSQL databases, which is invented by Facebook. And it's again a peer-to-peer -peer network. When when someone tells Cassandra, the first thought that we used to get it, it is a peer-to-peer. -peer. There is no master-slave architecture, right? So Cassandra is an open source NoSQL distributed database that uh, delivers a linear scalability and high availability without compromising the performance. And there is no central node or single point of control in Cassandra, as I told you already. And because it is distributed, it has no single point of control. Cassandra is highly fault tolerant. So this is all about the Cassandra. Then, so Chainify DB. Okay, so this is a, again a database which which the, the uniqueness of this database is like it is end-to-end -end encryption. So it has that end-to-end -end encryption. So communication between plugged database and the Chainify DB uh, like network is highly encrypted. So that is a uh, very a good point about this DB. 
So the next DB is a Covenant SQL. So Covenant SQL provides an infrastructure on top of which to build a decentralized app just like Ethereum. So people are new to Ethereum, I'll tell you what is Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency next to Bitcoin and the Ethereum technology, the blockchain of Ethereum is also like highly used in building the decentralized apps. Among it, many use cases, it's many use cases, Covenant uh, SQL can be used in asset management and integrated into IoT solution as well. That's a good point. And the next DB fifth one, Modex BCDB. Okay, so here it, the Modex uh, BCDB, it has the, the, the uniqueness here is multiple database support it has. So that means Modex BCDB supports multiple databases A node. A node can use MongoDB while another node can use MySQL. So Modex BCDB can seamlessly work and sync data with them without any configuration, any porting to a supported databases. There is no configuration changes required. And then the next sixth DB is post chain. So there is no, not much to explain about this. It's again, it, it's the immutability and then the decentralization. So everything is there with respect to the post chain as well. And then I'm moving on to next DB. So a proven DB, which is the seventh DB. So proven DB is a database survey that combines MongoDB database. So we can see another uh, MongoDB powered database is proven db so mong so like this proven db uh, is a service that combines mongodb database with blockchain characteristics so by using proven db you are using a mongodb database with blockchain so that is how you can see this so all these seven db so they are not limited so we do have so many other uh, databases as well so these are some of the uh, seven databases that i can say like a data engineer should aware of at least like we can we, we should aware of the names and the characteristics of it and i am sure that we people like data engineers are already aware of mongodb and cassandra so right so uh, you need to you all need to know is it's all it can be also used for blockchain technologies to store data like for the storage perspective and the retrieval part so that is the point that which we need to know and with this what i'm trying to or conclude to say data engineering is always an evergreen so whenever there is a new tech stack that comes it requires the support of data engineering through any mode not only i'm talking talking about big data i'm talking about data engineering which involves all the data related technology so there is like it's like never end so data engineering and data science is never end because we do have a lot of tech stack that comes into market and then it fade out but data engineering and data science will never fade out so we are giving support for all the new technologies like if you take blockchain under blockchain we do have this metaverse uh, nfts and then cryptocurrencies and and so many other stuff so we are giving support for those products to get into market we are helping them right so thanks for watching if you really like this video please do subscribe to my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues so we do have a lot of tech videos and if you want to uh, see the complete big data videos right so i have given the playlist link in the description box of this video you can have a look on it thanks for watching